Welcome back to this Ingram Angle special, The Left and Lawlessness. One of the reasons the left is able to get away with so much is because the media let them off the hook. Case in point, last month, the broadcast networks went wild over a report that Michael Cohen was preparing to tell investigators that President Trump had advanced knowledge of that infamous meeting between Trump Tower, at Trump Tower between Donald Trump Jr. and a Russian attorney. Here's a montage put together by the Media Research Center. Bombshell, President Trump's longtime lawyer ready to deliver the goods. Sources tell ABC News that Michael Cohen claims that Donald Trump had advanced knowledge of the Trump Tower meeting. Michael Cohen, the president's former attorney and fixer, claims that then-candidate Donald Trump was aware of the June 2016 Trump Tower meeting with the Russians before it happened. And Michael Cohen claims President Trump knew of the controversial 2016 meeting with Russians that were expecting to give the campaign dirt on Hillary Clinton. There was only one problem with the story. It wasn't true. Here's what Michael Cohen's attorney, Lanny Davis, said earlier this week. So Michael Cohen does not have information that President Trump knew about the Trump Tower meeting with the Russians beforehand or even No, after. does not. And here are all the corrections that ran. Uh, there weren't any. So joining me now for reaction is Howard Kurtz, host of Fox News's Media Buzz. Howard, thank you so much for joining us here. Good when you see this situation, I mean, the media was just, oh, they got their aha moment. They knew they had them on this one. And they ran it and they ran it and they ran it. And then now Cohen's attorney is saying that it wasn't true. Yeah, we now know that it wasn't true. Michael Cohen doesn't claim it's true. Lanny Davis says it's not true. All that whole montage you just played uh, comes from a CNN story. CNN was the one that broke this exclusive story. Uh, it still hasn't been corrected. And, you know, a major problem, Jason, with the coverage of the Trump presidency is that some news organizations um, have lowered the bar for what they publish. They're too quick to run and gun. They're too quick to put out allegations based on unnamed sources that sometimes turn out not to be true. CNN had a problem with that last year when it had to fire three journalists over an unsubstantiated story uh, on Anthony Scaramucci. Uh, I asked CNN for comment this morning. Haven't heard anything back. No public statement. Well, now the New York Post is out with a story saying that it was actually Cohen who was the person who had confirmed the story in the first place. They must have known that, Howard. How could they not ask him or question him uh, about that, uh, hey, you confirmed this the first time, and now you're saying it's not true. It, doesn't the media, if they know that, don't they have an obligation, a duty, to then follow up with that second question and produce the appropriate apology? Or correct Absolutely, it. but I would say don't hold your breath. And, you know, it's so ironic because every single day, many news organizations, and sometimes it's part of our job, hammer the White House. Oh, well, you were wrong on this. Is the president lying about that? Why won't you come clean? I mean, it, it, it kind of dominates a lot of the coverage, and in the time of investigations, you might expect some of that. But when a, a member of the media, we all make mistakes, but when there is a mistake on a story of this magnitude, claiming advanced knowledge of this Trump Tower meeting, um, suddenly you don't see that same zeal to correct. Now, Lanny Davis, who, as we mentioned, uh, Cohn's attorney, has said that he was an anonymous source for CNN. He, he believes he was trying to wave the network off the story. Maybe he wasn't uh, clear enough. He's told me that he regrets that. Uh, but then CNN should come out and talk about that. And so say we now retract the story again. No public comment from the network. Yeah, that's what I meant to say is Lanny Davis, not Cohen. I mean, he's right. supposed to be representing him as the attorney and uh, uh, not clear. I mean, it's sort of black and white in this situation. Uh, I want to go back to one that always bothered me. And I, I've always wanted to ask you this. But way back when in the day, look at this Time magazine cover. This is this is a cover story red-handed with Donald Trump Jr., making him look really ominous. I mean, there is still a question about this. Uh, what do you make of, I mean, Time Magazine goes to great lengths. It, it, it's so inflammatory, and even now we're ending up maybe not even true. I have lost track of all the time magazine covers that make President Trump, and in this case, a member of his family, look absolutely awful. I presume that cover was from a time of the Trump Tower meeting when Donald Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort and Jared Kushner had that meeting with the Russian lawyer. And look, you know, it, the fact that they took the meeting is very controversial. It did appear they were looking for dirt on Hillary Clinton. It went nowhere. Uh, but, you know, it's a very accusatory cover, and of course, you find the obligatory unflattering picture uh, to go with it. 
One last very quick question. Um, when Donald Trump talks about fake news, and you look at the people in the heartland of America, they figure this out, don't they? Don't they figure this out, Howie? Don't they understand that maybe the media is just way too zealous, they're too quick on the draw, and there is a double standard? Well, I think a long time ago, uh, many people in this country figured out that the media are a little bit tougher on your party, the Republican Party. And I also think that fake news, and I've never particularly liked the term, in fact, in that interview with Fox and Ainsley Earhart, President Trump now says 80 percent of the media are fake news. To me, fake is fabricated, deliberately made up. I, I, we don't really see very much of that. But what we do see a lot of is unrelentingly negative coverage of this president, sometimes biased coverage, sometimes outrageous commentary. He gives it back, of course. He has every right to do that. Sometimes he goes a little far in his rhetoric. Uh, but, but to answer your question, yeah, the media have lost a whole lot of confidence of a major chunk of the country. Uh, be, and and it's, uh, it's sort of on steroids in the Trump era. Yeah, that's right. Howie, thank you very much. Your show, Media Buzz, airs 11 a.m. Eastern on Thanks. Sundays. Look forward to it.